Hi everyone, welcome to another video in the 30 Days of Flowers series. Today we have this particular flower. Now for me it looks a little bit like a peace lily, which I actually have in my bathroom. And they are white with a yellow centre. Um, but I find it very tricky colouring white on white paper. Although this is quite creamy, as you can see from this light. It's quite creamy paper um, compared with, say... Um, my white book here look it still doesn't really show up white very well without putting a background behind i'm not going to do that so i thought i would just do a different color and just have some fun so i'm going to start with a blue actually i think i'm going to do it in blues i'm using my stella ergosoft i think i've used nearly all of my sets of pencils now so i'm sort of going back through them a little bit and just choosing a few different ones we've used before so this is number 35 in the Stedler. I think this only comes in the 36 set, but there is a similar blue. It's a sort of greeny blue almost. And I'm only going to use it for this little bit here anyway. So you don't have to use the identical colour. You might prefer to use a darker blue or a lighter blue. Or you might actually have a different set. My idea here is to try and make it a little bit darker around the edge and then a little paler towards the middle and I want this to tr try if I can to look as if it's a little bit rounded so it's sort of reflecting the light here in the centre I think that's okay I'm happy I'm just looking up in the camera to see how it looks sometimes it'll be easier for me to see it there and for the main part of the plant and um, flower I mean I'm going to be using a darker colour um, I'm just looking at what I've got. I think I'm going to not use my darkest. There's quite a sort of purpley blue colour, but I'm going to use number three. And uh, I may need the purpley blue for a few bits after. I hope I'll have a think about it. And I'm going to do this sort of inside section. This outside section, I might do a different shade, but I'll just see how I feel as I get there. So what I want here is I'm just putting down a little layer. Actually, I think I might put a evenish layer throughout and then I will think about where I might want it to be darker and sort of talk you through that. So I hope you're enjoying this sort of mini series as it were. <laughs> it makes it sound like a funny TV show. Perhaps it is, I don't know. Um, I have got plans for the next one already although we've still got 10 days to go on this one but I may change my mind when it comes down to it. I'll see how I feel. I want it to be a lot more dark um, shadowy down near the bottom and then less as we move up yeah so I've got a few plans but I shall have a think um, it also sort of depends what I decide to do for my main day video so at the moment I'm just sort of it's quite random to be honest I'm just doing what I fancy really I'm gonna do a little bit darker here just where there would be some shadow and then I'm just gonna smooth that out a little bit if I can a little bit messy. I find the Amergosofts, although they're really nice, they don't always go down really smoothly. So you just have to uh, be a little bit careful or just go back over like I am and just smooth it a little bit. And the tip is, say you've got a bit that's a little bit lighter, just go over that bit. Don't go over the whole thing again. See there, there there's a little bit lighter. Just try and go over that lighter bit and not the rest. I'm just going to do the edges a little bit yeah I'm gonna leave that there and I'm sort of thinking about the outside part am I gonna do it the same blue as I did the this, this piece but I don't think I will I might just go down a shade so this isn't the lightest blue this is um, number 37 which is just a slightly lighter version of this one and I think that might just work now for this turned over leaf a petal, sorry, I'm going to do it a little bit darker at each end and lighter here. If you think about where it's going to be catching the light, it's more likely I think it'll be catching the light here. This bit's turned over, so there'll be some shadowing going on, and then that would fade and the light is here. That's my thought. You may not agree, but that's how I'm doing it. And then for this bit again, I'm going to do a little bit darker at the bottom and along this, where it's sort of folded over here, 
as well. So a bit of a darker layer around here and then just less on the edge. Oh, like that. I might have gone out of the line. I don't think so. And then this side again, oops, I think I'm just going to go with that. A little bit messy. There we go. A little bit um, darker at the bottom. And then I just want to lighten it as I go up, really. I don't think there's going to be much of a difference in colour through it. There's no sort of creases or bends or anything like that. And I want it to be lighter than this, so this you can see the difference. I might just put a little bit more colour down there. Let's have a look. And then just look back in the camera. Yeah, I think that's okay. Now, thinking about the greens to put with this, I tend to put a bluey green with blue. For me, it sort of makes sense. So, I've just realised that it looks really similar to another flower that I've done. But never mind, I can't show you very easily because I've got my pencils on top of the other page. But hey, um, yes, bluey greens. Um, in the um, Stedler 36 set, there is a number 38 which is a really dark bluey green so we'll start with that one I'm just checking you can see everything in the camera I'm just going to go around this little bottom bit here and just try and fade it towards the middle a little bit there's a white gap there at the minute it's not going to remain I'm going to bring in another colour and I'm going to do a darker area at the bottom here and fade that up and the same from here downwards like that and here you see there's a line between the stem and the leaf so I'm just going to do that and then we can bring in our lighter colour in a minute. Now with these leaves they overlap so I'm actually going to start off here where I think it will be darker where they're overlapping and then fade that down as we go along the leaf and here look it overlaps again so a harder layer here you could do this if you want it to look really shadowy you could do it in a grey um, so it's quite a lot darker but I'm just going to try it in the green it's not quite so extreme I suppose you might say and uh, I like this idea I've actually come on to video I, was, I had sort of thought I was going to stop for the day and my voice is running out a little bit I made a few videos earlier, but I th the news was, um, there was some sort of news is expecting to break, I'm not going to say what, um, and uh, I don't want to sort of get political, so political news, and uh, I knew that if I was, wasn't was recording, I would just be sitting there pressing refresh on my news um, website, I actually look at the BBC for the news most of the time. Um, I was just, I knew that I would just be pressing the fresh button to try and figure out what was going on in the news and I don't want to be doing that. I'll, um, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll soon find out what's going on. And number five is the lighter green I'm going to use. Now I don't want to use this too hard because it will look too dark. I want to be able to see a difference between the greens. So I'm just putting a really gentle pressure on the pencil and I can layer up if I think it's too pale. I just don't want to go down with a hard amount. I want you to be able to see that this is darker than this. Yeah. Anyway, so I thought it was a good idea to get on and record some videos so I wasn't just sitting there pressing refresh all day, all afternoon. I did spend a little bit of time this morning catching up with a quiz show I missed over the weekend. I do like my quizzes. I like shows um, which are positive and happy and um, so I don't watch um, soap operas or dramas because they tend not to be um, or if they are they aren't like it all the time so um, I, um, I like quizzes I like testing my brain that's quite fun um, I, I worked out that in the quiz I was watching I would have lost very quickly because I couldn't I got one of the answers very wrong. But anyway, it's a bit of fun playing along, I always find. And um, I also like um, some reality shows. I like um, Strictly Come Dancing, which is like Dancing with the Stars, which I think is in most countries now, just because 
it's just gentle relaxing fun and everyone seems to have such a good time doing the show and that sort of thing and I do enjoy watching the dancing as well so that's nice and uh, on Sundays at the moment there's a show called Dancing on Ice which is uh, ice skating dancing you know a sort of ice skating show which is quite fun it's a little bit more stressful because they fall over and if they fall over and they can fall over in the dancing but you know they don't fall onto ice and they don't have sharp things on their feet. It can be a little bit more stressful, but it's still not. Um, it's still a lot of fun. Now I'm just going to sweep away some of the bits from that and have a little think about whether I'm going to do anything in the background. I have done various bits and bobs, haven't I, um, for different um, pictures. Actually, I did have an idea I shall um, show you. Um, now I used the stencil already. I'm just trying to find where I've put it. So maybe... Oh seems to have vanished or vanished. I just made a word at them. Just looking for it. Oh, I can't find it. Well, that's a little annoying. I must have put it back in the wrong place. Hmm. No, okay. I'm not going to do that then, am I? Because I don't have that stencil. I shall have to find a different stencil and uh, do that instead. Let's have a little look. We haven't used this one. Let's try this one. It's another, whoops, oh, oops, I dropped them on the floor. It's another one of my husband's um, famous geometric stencils. And I thought maybe we could do something a little bit different to what we've done with them before. Now I'm not gonna, I'm gonna use a slightly different color, I think to what I've used already on the um, plant. Just because I think if I use any one of the colors I've used already, it might just look a little bit odd. It might be put too much emphasis on that colour. So I think, hmm, I might go for a pink. Pink, pink? Yeah, let's go for pink. This is number 20. What I'm going to do with these um, hexagons is some, um, hmm, should I do it like that? This, hmm, where should I go? There. I'm just going to plonk it on. It's good, isn't it? Technical term. And draw uh, in it. Don't draw over the actual plant. And one here, look. I don't know if this will work at all. It might look really weird. And I'm just going to colour those in to start with and see how it looks. It might just look the weirdest thing. Now what I quite like, um, I've seen people do, um, I haven't copied it because it's not my idea. Although who has a brand new idea, I don't know. Um, it's when people do a little bit of a background and it's in a metallic pen. So that might be something you might want to try. Um, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, excuse me, I think I just managed to um, pause the video in time. It was quite a loud sneeze too. So, um, I like people doing a bit of metallic pen. That's quite nice for background. If you don't have any stencils, you can make your own. You can look up a geometric shape on your search engine, print it out. Actually, I think in a, in, in, um, what am I trying to say? In things like, um, your word processing program or your paint um, sort of um, art program, paint program, that sort of thing. I, I use paint or word. You may find you can use geometric shapes from there and just put them onto a page and print them out. And then you could um, um, put, make a sort of cardstock template. I'm not sure how old that looks. I just really wanted to have a go and see how it looked. What, I'm, uh, what I think I'd like to do is have one there as well. But I can't remember what size I used. I had it that way around, did I? Yep, yeah, that's the right size. It's number 10 in case you're using this template. I think I'm going to... I don't want to go too far across because I'll interfere with this one. But I should just do a little bit there and there. A bit in there. Yeah. So we'll try that. It's just, just a bit of fun. And what you could, of course, do... Have I used this already? I don't know. Never mind. If you do um, 
if you yeah I used it just there I've already used it never mind um, if you do um, want to have a, a bit more background you could use something like the ellipse um, the um, or a circle and draw around the whole thing and then fill in all the white as well so you've got a bit of a geometric pattern and then a big bit of white yeah I used this just three days ago so I'm really sorry about that I really should have looked it's right in front of my eyes but anyway you don't have to use this shape but it just gives you an idea of a sort of contrasting colour anyway so I hope that's okay <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I was a bit distracted but anyway there's that one <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing at myself. I don't know if you're laughing. I hope you are. Anyway, you have a lovely, lovely day. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your evening and um, and afternoon or whatever part of the day is. Sorry, you could be anywhere, couldn't you? Enjoy your day and your night. And thank you so much for watching and happy colouring.